<laughs> okay, take two of this audio. Hi. This is my second time recording this because I all of a sudden got a terrible, terrible acid reflux in the middle of recording it. And I was like, mm, I'll just pause and wait and cut it out later. But it was going on for like two, three minutes of me just like, ooh, acid reflux noises. So I was like, you know what? Mm, I'm just going to redo it. So about nine months ago, I made a video, at least at the time of recording this, that I made a video where I said it was the iPad versus computers and it was my thoughts on the issue. And as an adult and as someone who I've always, as someone, myself, I, great words, Michelle. All right, let's backtrack. So I have always been a very firm person in believing that opinions can change, but you got to admit when your opinions change. You, you got to, you know, you can't bury your feet in the sand and stick to something, especially when you've been proven wrong. So I have fully been indoctrinated to the iPad Pro cult and procreate, but let me explain. Let me explain. I'm not, I'm not just going to be pros here because I'm not that kind of person. So when I made that video, my original video, I was working on my old computer and that's really, really important to the thought process of that because right around that time, that's when my old computer died. It, I'm pretty sure it was shortly thereafter. And when it died and I moved over to my new computer, I have a new gaming computer I got uh, with our Stimmy because my business needs a new computer. I, it's the only way I can make money right now uh, because America's not doing too great anyway <laughs> um so when i got my new computer i was very excited because i was like oh i can play computer games again i can stream normally again because i was streaming more and more but not to the extent like i'm doing now because i am streaming more regularly on twitch i do it at least a couple weeks i know shameless plug but hey if it's sponsored by me does it really count <laughs> anyway and when I got my computer and I realized how much I just let slide because I thought it was a factor is serious. You know, my old computer was dying and I'd have side crash on me all the time. I would lose hours and hours of work. I'd have so many issues and it would drive me insane. And normal stuff would take me like four times as longer. And then when I got the iPad, I was learning with the iPad. I was working with it because I actually did get my iPad Pro back in 2019. It was late 2019 as a birthday Christmas gift, but I will acknowledge where it is due. And this is also something else that I think is really important. So I got my iPad Pro for a great deal. Okay. I didn't pay normal iPad Pro price. That being said, when my current iPad eventually does kick the bucket... I will be upgrading to the biggest, newest model. And that is a lot of money, but it is very different when this is your job and your business than when you are an artist just trying out, okay? So keep that in mind, because I know that I have some uh, some younger fans or some college people or people who just don't have a lot of money. Totally get it. I'm a girl that lives on a budget. I, I totally understand that, you know? And a big, a big factor in the iPad is is that there are a lot of people who are like, I can't afford that. What am I supposed to do? I got my iPad Pro and both of my pencils and all my gear and all the programs for under $1,000. I know that sound, that's, that's still a lot of money, but for like a new iPad Pro, that's kind of like a basic starting price and that doesn't even include the pen. So, and it was a gift and I'm not, I'm not sugarcoating that it was a gift, you know? But I was able to find it through means because my husband is a teacher, so we were able to get it very, very discounted, and it is technically refurbished. I love this thing. It's great. But there was a learning curve. When I first got it, and I will put a picture of the very first picture I did of it on screen. Um, well, I, I did a doodle, but I don't count that. I, my first, like, finished picture compared to something I did recently. And this is a night and day difference here, and it, it is because I did not realize how reliant I became in certain things in Psy. Now that, to be fair, I still wish Procreate had things that Psy did or Clip Studio Paint for all the people who have Clip Studio Paint. And I will also not be talking about Clip Studio Paint for the iPad Pro because I don't use the mobile version. So sorry if you guys are like, oh, but what are your thoughts? I don't have any. I don't have it. And I have no plans for getting it for my iPad. So when I started working with my new computer, okay, Getting the dead spots in my Huion, because my Huion's old and I kind of beat it down, 
it was getting so aggravating because I went from a POS computer who was crashing all the time, who was loud, who would take forever to get anything done to this new sleek computer, brand new out of the box, new graphics card. You know, I can stream on it. I can play games on it. I was, I was, I was a very excited bean, but with all of that happening, all of a sudden it's like, okay, wait, hmm. little things started to irritate me more and more. And when you are an artist professionally, it might not seem like a lot, but when programs don't work the way they're supposed to, you get irritated. It's very much a first world problem, I understand. But at the same time, this is my job, you know? And before, because I didn't have any other options, I kind of just like sucked it up and went with it. And it definitely did not help my stressors, you know? There's nothing like being behind on work and getting stuff done and then all of a sudden everything crashes and you lost days worth of work because you can't get that time back, you know? And with my iPad, I've had a couple moments where Procreate's frozen up on me, but I found out through a friend who also has an iPad that it just means I need to transfer files over. It is still a bit of a pain to transfer files over. I still don't like the fact that I can't name files. And I know people have told me there's ways to do it, but... I've become a person of convenience. I am an old lady, guys. I'm 28. I'm I'm a little old lady. I'm sorry. I very much like convenience when things should work. So that being said, if you are a newer artist, if you do not have... Because if you have the money and it's not a big issue or you have family that can get it for you or friends that can pitch in, this really, really does not count towards you, okay? I'm, I'm just... I'm being honest here, you know. There's, there's a big difference for, like, again... Where I was back in 2019, I definitely couldn't afford, I've, I've afforded my iPad Pro, especially with how I was with it at the time and how long it took me to get used to it to the skill level I'm at now. You know, again, I'll slap on the difference of my first drawing to something I did recently. And it's a very drastic difference. The iPad has, because of the lack of a stabilizer, given me much more confident lines. I've been having a lot more fun in my sketchbooks, actually. I know I've been working my sketchbooks more. And I've been getting much faster with my inking, with my coloring, and things like that. I, I've learned new depths and new ways to change my style up to something that I think is really nice and aesthetic. And I look at older pictures I did um, with Psy and, Procre- uh, Psy and and everything, and I realize I really did hide a lot of my mistakes in my drawing and my coloring. It's something my friend Holly has talked about where, you know, she works really hard on her line work because a lot of people hide their mistakes with coloring. And I didn't think that because I used very thickum lines and I still like me some good thickum lines, but I've moved over to more textured lines, colored lines, a more soft look. So sort of like how I originally actually started with digital art like a long time ago, but I didn't over render it. And so now that I'm at where I'm at, I'm sitting here like, man, I don't know if I can go back to the way things were. I know eventually I will because there are still a lot of things that I I really want to do that I cannot do with Procreate. Like, I miss pixel art. I miss doing, like, little mini animation things. And I know you can do that in Procreate, but it's, it's a little different. And people who do Procreate animations know what I'm talking about. You know, I want to test the waters more. I want to do more things. And it... It is easier when you have a nice working computer. So that is something I still feel, especially with, you know, I, oh, I cannot. I've tried. I tried editing everything on my iPad. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Still hate iMovie. Still hate iMovie. Still hate that process. It is so much easier for me just to, you know, over to my stuff. But I really thought about it listening here and I'm like, oh, yeah, there are so many people who don't do videos. There are people who don't stream. There are people who literally just do art. And I really, really should have put that into account when I made my YouTube video because I was thinking of it more on the YouTube end. No, realistically, if you are, especially if you're a hobbyist, you know, or you're young and you want to get into this as a job or a side job, you know, you see people and you see that like, oh, they have their iPads, they have this, they have that, and nah, 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 nah. that is still a very, very big investment, which is why I recommend getting a previous model, getting it on sale getting it uh, through, you know, uh, proven refurbished sites like Newegg and stuff. You know, Craigslist uh, and uh, Facebook Marketplace are, you know, they're a gamble because you're getting it from a person. Same with eBay. But I definitely recommend getting an older model, getting an older pen. You're going to save a lot of money. Uh, Get Procreate. Again, not sponsored by any of these things. 
because Procreate is a one-time purchase while Clip Studio Mobile is like 15 bucks a month. And for some people, might be like 15 bucks a month isn't so bad. You're right. It's not so bad if it's your job, but if you're like younger or a college kid or on a tight budget, 15 bucks a month does go a long way to just have a program on your computer or on your iPad when if you buy the digital version for the computer, you buy it once and you're good and you get all the updates. So as you can tell, I'm a little salty, uh, salty about the Clip Studio Pro mobile. It's because I am. And so, but I know people who do that. So to the people who they just want to do it for art, they don't really want to make videos. They don't really want to do things like that. They don't want to, you know, um, they don't really want to stream. They don't really want to do that. They just want to make art. I take back what I said. I totally recommend the iPad Pro, especially for a starter thing. But again, if you are on a very, very tight budget, get older. Do not, do not. I've known friends personally that have done this where they get a new credit card or they get a new thing or they save up for it and they get it thinking they're going to suddenly just boom in artwork because they're seeing these beautiful digital paintings on the iPad Pro. And then they're and then they're surprised when that's not the case because they don't have the practice because it comes again. It just comes down to practice. And especially if you get a bigger, heavier duty or one, you need to be using it for more than just the, the, the single art program. I, I fully agree with that. Um, I talked about it with the Zodiac Lord in a more recent stream that I did where uh, he brought it up very well that like you need to use your iPad for more than just drawing. That being said, though. Apple products are sadly pretty well known for having battery life, you know, just conk out at you after a while. Now, the difference being I like to ration my iPad usage. So I use my iPad for reading when I don't have my phone, for artwork, and for Identity V, which I think I actually have my Edgar Speed paint for the back of this video because I don't think I used it yet. So, hey, if that's the case, then I'm uh, I'm drawing Edgar Edgar Valden for my DV because <laughs> I'm trash. But I make sure that I turn my iPad off when I'm not using it. I when it's you know I try to let it get to as low battery as I can before I charge it because I have a very bad habit of like 50% plug it in. Oh, I'm streaming. Okay, I'll plug it in because I'm streaming it to my computer so it's using the battery. You know, but. That way I'm not abusing it like I did with my other tablets and I think it will last a lot longer. But again, that being said, I have a computer to do other things on and so that way I can differentiate it from there. I mean, I do technically have Twitter and Instagram on it, but I literally just use it for the posting. I don't really use it on there. I use it on my phone. But yeah, there's my rambles. There's my thing. My opinion has changed, but I still hold... so. Again, if you want an artist and you want practice and you have the money or the means to get one, get a lower generation, learn the program, practice without shelling out thousands of dollars and then realizing you made a mistake. Because I still see a lot of people who do that. So, yeah, happy that, uh, you know, my opinions have changed because I've really seen a jump in my artwork in just these nine months and it's made me very happy. And yeah, so there's my uh, rambles for the week. Uh, if you want to follow me, all of my social medias are in my link tree link down below. Please comment for the bot because recently YouTube has been unsubbing people, uh, especially if I make a kind of a stinker video and kind of sucks. I know people leave all the time, but, uh, the algorithm doesn't lie when you lose a, a bunt load of people for no apparent reason. And so please check and make sure you're subscribed. Please comment for the bot. Those have helped so much. I, I don't think you guys understand and if you can't think of that, you know, slap an emoji down below. And thank you as always to my Patreon patrons. Without you guys, it wouldn't be possible. I Hopefully I didn't already say that and I'm just a broken record. But anyway, <laughs> I will. See you guys next time. Bye bye